Today, we're going to bring a USB-C Type-C hub adapter. We're going to take a look at it and see what you get. So let's see what's in this little box and see how what you get when you get something like this. Look at this feature. Now, on this one right here, this is a pretty good adapter. So on your motherboard, if you don't have a Type-C and, and your new motherboards actually do have them, but your older ones don't and you have that on your new desktop, this is a feature that will convert uh, an actual uh, 3.0, 3.1 or 3.0 into a type C, of course. And we have it covered here too, if you guys can see. And I'm gonna show you guys demo late how to set this up, right? And how to convert it. So a lot of people that buy the new motherboard, the new towers don't have that, but the towers have a type C connection and you don't, you're missing this part. You could convert any of your other USBs into that conversion. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna set that up. This is an actual USB to uh, uh, hub, so it's a converter. And we're gonna take a look and set it up. And this is perfect for those that, that have older motherboards, and but they wanna have the new features on the new desktops and the new uh, new desktops that come, the new towers that come with the type C. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't connect that because they don't have that in their motherboards and you're missing it. So I'm gonna show you guys an old motherboard that we have that you could convert this into that. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. We're going to test it out. So if you guys could see on the older motherboard, I have two USBs in the back. All right. And unfortunately, I do not have a newer one, a new connection for a type C on this motherboard. And the type C will look something like this. All right. Um, so converting it, hold on, converting it, it's going to be a little tricky. So because I don't have that on my on my motherboard, I'm not gonna be able to connect the tower to it. So a lot of times people just don't connect that because they are missing that. And unfortunately, these times we don't wanna upgrade the whole motherboard because it costs money and it's a lot of work too. And connecting, reconnecting the GPU, the CPU and everything else and moving it over, it's a lot harder than it is to just grab the stuff that you have and move it over to your new desktop. Now. I had this issue where I bought a new tower and the motherboard was a lot older, of course, and it didn't have this input. So this is what's gonna help you guys out. It's a converter from a regular USB to a type C, which I'm gonna show you guys. So if you guys could see the motherboard, this is an old Asus motherboard that we have in here and it's a gigabyte motherboard. And of course we do have a couple of these um, USBs in the back, if you guys can see it in the back but we do not have this feature here. We do not have that anywhere in this motherboard. Uh, fortunately, this is a perfect model for us to demonstrate. So what you got to do is you got actually just to convert one of these, you're going to have to sacrifice one of your actual um, USBs connections, um, the prongs right there. So basically you just follow the little chip that you have, the little uh, snip that you have in there and you plug it in here. So we have it in here. We converted one of our USBs. We converted one of our USBs into a type C converter. So you're now going to be able to use that desktop connection into this motherboard. So you could convert any motherboard that you have that's outdated, that doesn't have this connection. You could actually add it to it. And this is a perfect example by putting it because unfortunately I don't have that in here. And if I ever want to convert this motherboard and transfer it to a newer tower, it's not going to be possible because you're missing that connection. But this makes it a lot easier by buying that little converter, if you guys can see it. And from here, you can connect your cable to your desktop. Uh, if you don't want that, you can actually connect it directly and transfer into a type C directly. They do sell the cable for that connection too. So I hope that this helps you guys out. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.